Action News, always taking action for you. Uh, but first tonight, Detroit police bust a destructive ring of thieves. Yeah, the suspects accused of stealing and torching nearly two dozen vans, all to get just one part. Sources tell me the operation crossed state lines and more charges may be coming. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirshner is live on Detroit's northwest side right now with a story you'll see only here on 7, a costly crime spree, Jim. Yeah, this is two serious crimes, arson and car theft. Let me open this up and show you a couple of the casualties. These two burned out vans inside this holding lot. The guys who did this did it where they lived, not far from here, the Brightmore area. These vans were stolen in the business corridor near I-96 and Schoolcraft. And because they were in business so long, the cops simply camped out. And they were burning two and three vans at a time. So at that time, we decided to set up surveillance in that area because we knew it was something going on. This is some of their stock and trade cargo vans. They would steal them, strip them, and set them on fire. 20 vans in all, torched in Brightmore, that has seen too much of this lately. The vans were stolen from small businesses. Some were not sured. Total loss, a quarter of a million dollars. Investigators call them serial arsonists and serial car thieves. Four have been charged, including Roger Johnson and Daniel Silkey, each facing three counts of arson, car theft, and receiving and concealing stolen goods. They're facing several years in prison. They actually confessed to my guys. Um, my guys started interrogating them, and they realized that they had, you know, they couldn't get out of this, so they actually confessed. Three of them, three out of, three out of the four confessed. Now, during this investigation and surveillance, there were actually two chases. The first one called off because it was too fast and too dangerous. The other one started with leads down in Ohio, then moved back into Michigan. The stop and the arrest made in Monroe tonight, four people in custody. Carolyn? It's amazing. The chief has only been on the job for six months, and arson fires for houses and vehicles are now down in the city of Detroit. Yeah, down by hundreds, and this is the third major case they've broken in his six months in office. All right, people got to be happy to see such good work. Thanks a lot, Jim, Absolutely. for the live report. Absolutely.